Welcome in ladies and gentlemen. Planetside 2 is one of the most overlooked video games that I can personally think of and I'm going to be in this video talking to you about for you to become acclimated with the game as quickly as possible. Now there's some basics like you should know which faction and server you want to pick initially. What you generally want to do is go to the server browser when you first create a character and that will tell you which one has the best ping. Each of the servers are going to be populated at their respective prime time, so there's no need to worry about that. Now when you're picking your faction, there's three different options. The NC, which is low rate of fire, high damage guns, the aesthetic is all about freedom. I would say NC is definitely the cool faction, the faction that has a lot of chill players that aren't going to be super neurotic or tryhard. Then we have the TR, which are high rate of fire guns. They generally have like a red, kind of like an authoritarian communist aesthetic associated with them. So if you enjoy that kind of stuff, you might find similarly minded people, I guess. And on Vanu, what we have is also high rate of fire guns. And they have more of a sci-fi aesthetic. And so when you're picking a guild later on, you're more likely to run into other people that like sci-fi if you pick Vanu. In terms of capability, I would say that each of the factions offer different things. The NC and the TR have a slight armory advantage, but the Vanu does have a history of having slightly more tryhard players. Now when we boot up the game of Planet Side 2, things might seem a bit overwhelming. There's five different continents, and on each of the continents there's at least 20 to even as much as 50 different bases. And so memorizing all of those can be difficult, especially if you're new. On top of that, you've got various different vehicles and different classes in order to operate. And all of that in combination can become a little bit too much. And so the rest of this guide is essentially going to be an attempt to make that more palatable for you. Now, when you're picking a base to go to, I'm going to make things super simple for you. What I want you to do is find a fight with at least 12 players per side. And so as long as there's 12 people on the base at least, when you look at the map, you should be fine. Now of course to get to the map screen when you're in game, you want to hit the U key and that will allow you to redeploy to the map. And from there you can select a new base. When you do redeploy, it does not count as a death, so don't worry about redeploying at all. Now of course when you look at the map, you're going to see a lot of different connections. And this might seem a bit confusing, all the lines connecting the bases. Now all these lines are essentially denoting is that in order to capture that enemy base, you need to have an allied base connected to it with a line in order to go capture it. And so these bases with a line between the enemy and you, the ally, you can essentially figure out where the front lines are. And say you're Vanu, you're going to know that you're purple. If you're NC, you're going to know that you're blue. And if you're TR, you're going to know that you're red. And again, when we're looking on this map, simply hover over the base and have a look at the population count. If you see over 12 enemies detected and over 12 allies detected, anything over that is fine. Go there, you'll have a bunch of fun. And then the second that you can't find any enemies, you don't see any in the minimap, then you want to redeploy, find the next base, instead of driving to the next base, because it takes a bit too long. Now you're going to want to pick an outfit, which is essentially the same as picking a clan in other games. When you're picking this clan, there's a few things you want to watch out for. First off, make sure it's one that's your language. So if you speak German, you may want to join a German outfit, like on Cobalt Vanu, there's Jimsy. Likewise, if you're French, you might want to join UVFC, which is the French outfit on Vanu Cobalt. If you really enjoy talking to people on Discord whilst you play, I'd recommend joining us, which is the boys on Vanu Cobalt. Now, some people also prefer TeamSpeak, and something like Trid, uh, Trident, is definitely a good option if you prefer TeamSpeak. Even now, after several thousand hours, I'm still learning new things about this game, and I seriously am not kidding about that. I didn't even know the most a lot of the basics until I got to around a thousand hours, and that's extremely common. The more advanced stuff might take you even up until two thousand hours to learn, because there's just so much nuance to this game and different parts. They really can just take a long time to really get used to, you know, knowing all the bases, knowing all the classes, understanding the meta and kind of understanding how to lead if you want to do that, for example. And there's a bunch of other stuff as well, which really isn't super intuitive, but is super in depth in terms of complexity that you can really dive into if you want to. Now with this amount of complexity does come a higher learning curve. 
And what I will say to that is that for me, it's been worth it. I think that seeing yourself improve over time is definitely cool. And on top of that, there's a few other good reasons to keep playing. First off, the combined arms aspect of this game is like nothing other. This game's also an MMO where 900 people are playing on the map at the same time, which is insane. No other game comes close to this, it's unique, it's special, and it makes this game feel a lot better. The third reason is simple. The community in this game is very strong. You're going to start recognizing names after a while, you're going to start recognizing outfits. And playing with those same people over and over again, to me, is way better than just playing with anonymized, faceless randoms on CSGO, Valorant, or Fortnite. I really actually prefer knowing my opponents and knowing my allies, and I like that interpersonal part of this game a lot more than the anonymous kind of anti-human thing that a lot of these other games have kind of adopted. To me, it really reminds me of how games used to be with servers and you had used to, you know, log into that server every day and you used to be in a clan on that server. And that kind of stuff to me really is what multiplayer gaming is supposed to be. I also want to commend you for watching this kind of video because a lot of people won't go to the effort to even learn. They'll just get mad. They'll think that people are hacking. They won't understand how to improve their graphics. They'll say that it's laggy because they haven't really done their research. And, you know, a lot of other stuff that just is entirely untrue and is an easy way to come up with, like, copium for not playing at a decent level. But this game is truly something that you can get good at, especially if you're going to watch videos like this. You will improve, so don't give up hope. I know that the steep learning curve of this game can be a bit frustrating. This game doesn't cuddle you, like in a lot of other games where there's an MMR system which matches you with only teammates of a similar level of skill. You really do have to go against everyone in this game. You know, the good, the bad. And that is another reason this game is unique. And of course, on top of the community in this game and having an outfit that's very active, also being a very unique thing. This game being a 1v1v1 is also a unique thing that no other game does. Almost every single other game that I've found is 1v1. There's no like third team in most games and having a third team does add an extra dynamic that I think a lot of people don't really appreciate. Now I hope this video has been helpful to you. I don't want to overwhelm you with lots of in-depth information which is covered in many of my other videos if you would like to subscribe to the channel and make sure that you don't miss out on any future content as well. I'm also interested to hear your comments if you have any four new players or if you're a new player as well feel free to ask questions in the comments and people will definitely answer your comments. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm out. Like the video. GG. Bye-bye.